If you can't afford Apple's fancy expensive iPads with their fancy non-compatible, non-cross-compatible Apple Pencils, you should maybe just consider buying a cheap tablet and with the right apps, turn it to a work horse of a machine. To making videos again. So before I talk about what apps and how I set it up to basically make this normal tablet into like a super efficient starting workhorse, I'm going to talk about why I chose the HTC Google Nexus 9 as a tablet choice because it's kind of unorthodox and for one it's really old and secondly it's like it's not really well known of a tablet. Why didn't I get an iPad or anything? Well the simple reason, let me put it this way, is the price. It's super cheap, second hand, I got it for 60 to 70 US dollars and yes, it's got a bit of a messed up screen in the top right corner, but I don't care. It gets the job done very, very well. And on top of that, it's Android, it's stock Android, so it's very easy for me to put, you know, a bunch of apps on here. Cyanogen mod is an easy option. There's a lot of support for the Nexus 9, so that's why I got it as a tablet. Now, apart from that, there's not much reason to explain why I got this tablet. It's a tablet, it's got a nice big screen that can display my documents really really well. It's got 16 gigs which is more than enough for music and notes. And on top of the fact that I have Google Drive so I can actually store a bunch of stuff online which saves the local storage. So it's a very very, it's a perfectly adequate tablet. Apart from the fact that it doesn't have you know a fancy stylus like the iPads with the Apple Pencil. How exactly did I set up this tablet for perfection when it comes to studying and like efficiency? Well, the first thing I did was new, not install anything that was entertainment related. The only app I have on here that could give me some sort of fun is YouTube, but I don't, I put, I've tucked it away in a corner so that I don't get distracted when I'm studying and that helps efficiency, trust me. Having this device out here, handling everything I need from my phone while my phone is in the other room or in my bag means that I don't get distracted and I'm less likely to get distracted and that means I'm more efficient and I get shit done. So don't install crap on your device, on your tablet, especially if it's destined for studying and destined for work because that's just, that's just shooting yourself in the foot and you don't want to do that. You want to keep this device dedicated, dedicated to studying and that's how it works efficiently. Okay, now apart from that, I have it set up so that everything I need is on the home page and I don't really need to scroll up here in the app menu for anything. There's nothing here that I care about because everything that I care about is here. Now, let me explain everything, you know, kind of a clockwise manner. So the first thing is obviously Spotify. This is a widget. It's playing damn right now. It's, you know, Kendrick Lamar's latest album. Yeah, that is for playing music. Spotify is brilliant. When you study, you gotta listen to music. And, and if you don't listen to music when you study, you're just weird or you're boring of a person. If you don't listen to music, you're boring. Don't be my friend if you don't listen to music. And that is what I have on the top right as a widget. So I don't have to open up the app and scroll around if I want to skip songs. But obviously, I, if I want to change like an album or playlist, I have to go in there. So I also have the Spotify app down here in the bottom right corner. But yeah, it's convenient, it's set up, so when I pull out my tablet and unlock it, I'm ready to, you know, play music and get work done. Now, moving down here, we have downloads, because, you know, sometimes you download sort of resources from the internet, and it's easy and convenient to have it all here. This is the wallpaper I have. I'm a Kanye fan, obviously, with that graduation wallpaper. Also, Murakami's artwork was brilliant, so I found this brilliant wallpaper, so I just put it on there. Why not? Why not, right? Life RPG is a little fun app that I think if you're struggling to get motivated, you should try because it's basically you know, turning your life into an RPG. You basically set tasks and adjust difficulty parameters and adjust, you know, urgency, fear. You set tasks, you set, you know, repetition. You can get it to repeat every day if you want. So you want it to work out every day, then you set it to repeat every day to remind you to work out. And it's not just reminder because every time you complete the task and you hit, you know, you've completed it, you basically get experience and it feels like you're in a game and making things like a game helps you stay motivated and wanting to continue to do that stuff so definitely check that stuff out life rpg it's a fun little game it's a fun little app it's a task managing app but it's also a very good motivational app if you're struggling to get shit done i install it because i thought it would be fun and it's actually pretty effective in you know making the reward 
of completing a task more rewarding. Basically, that dopamine hit is like harder with Life RPG. So check that out. It's brilliant. Now, below that is OneNote. Now, this is an awesome, awesome little app for anyone trying to take notes or come up with stuff. And yes, you don't have a stylus, but you can still use your fingers if you want to draw stuff. So you can just come here like that and you can, you know, write random stuff. And because you're on a tablet, the screen is pretty big. You can write a bunch of stuff. And usually I wouldn't write that messily, but you know, that's just the way things are right now because I'm sitting behind a camera. Now, on top of that, uh, you can just type if your handwriting isn't very good with your finger. So you can go, hi, hello. And you can type it in these boxes, which you can move around, which is very convenient because you can type two things in a box. You can put it in a circle, you can draw an arrow, and then you can say, type another thing like you can basically put a circle around here and you can point it down here and you boom, you have a mind map, instant mind map. Well, it's not as easy as if, you know, you had an iPad with the Apple Pencil, but you can't afford that. Remember that. So that you got to make do. And uh, it's also very good for, you know, sorting out stuff. You can actually create different notebooks, different sections in your notebook, which makes things super organized. You can have chemistry, physics, math all over in your notebook, and then it will just be super organized. So everything you do on here is conveniently placed. So one is a brilliant app. It's free. You just need like a Hotmail account or Oh look, I think that's why it's called nowadays. Basically a Microsoft email account, log it in and you have a free app for taking notes. No problem. It's great. Now below that is Canvas Student. Now this is an app my school uses for, you know, putting lecture notes, putting study materials online for us to easily access. I'm not going to show you what's inside just in case I leak anything that I'm not supposed to. It's not really super confidential, but you know, I don't want accidental leakages of stuff that I shouldn't show. But yeah, Canvas Student, great little app. If your school has it, has an app like that where they can send you notes and stuff very quickly, definitely use it. Now below Canvas Student, we have a little folder here. This is a bunch of Google stuff. Google Drive, super important for me to store all the documents I have. You know, if I download a bunch of documents like this physics formula summary, I can store it in Google Drive and have it on all my devices. And, you know, if I run out of storage on this device, I can just store stuff online. I don't actually have to save it locally, which is great. Now, on top of that, we have a bunch of other Google Docs stuff. We have Docs, Slides, Sheets. These are just there if I need to do anything, you know, type many slides or whatnot. Gmail, obviously, there to receive emails. And uh, if I have anything to send myself, I would just send it through Gmail. Easy, convenient. We all know that. Now, Google is down here just for you to search. You got a bunch of stuff like ugh, Liverpool or like, you know, ugh, Arsenal, that kind of stuff. It's pretty good. And um, we talked about Spotify. Let's talk about tasks. Now, I use tasks in a very interesting method. I use tasks to basically record precisely the amount of work I've done um, for each subject so that I can check what I've done so far and what I haven't done so I can basically map, map up my progress and I actually use Google Tasks and it as an app for task management because I already have Live RPG. I just use it to basically set what I've done and um, I can check how much I've done. So if I'm lacking in a certain chapter, I'll just make up for it by doing more of it. Convenient. And uh, right here we have Chrome, nothing to see here, just some more Googling. And we have Keep, which is a great little app. And it, it's basically a note taking app and I can take a bunch of notes. I've got a bunch of more sensitive stuff on Keep right now. I actually don't want to show it to you. So <laughs> you'll see it in the big wall. But yeah, keep, Google Keep is great if you have something like a like a brain wave or like some sort of uh, moment where you think of a gr brilliant idea or you think of something that you need to jot down quickly. Google Keep is the app to get. It's great. And Google Calendar here is for you to put stuff on your calendar, I guess. I don't use it, <laughs> clearly from the fact that it's not launched, but I should, and I probably will in a while, but I don't really have any events in my life going on right now. Um, I'm not gonna go rate Area 51 on my birthday, so that's not my problem. All right, so that's that for my device. I've got a bunch of widget here. This one's connected to Life RPG with all my tasks, and it's like my progress, it's just kind of a little fun, and a Google search tab, and that's all for the study device. That's all you need to have an efficient study of advice. With this, I can put my notes on screen and then do work on paper, or I could take notes by typing with OneNote. Uh, I can draw a bunch of stuff with OneNote. 
you know, I can have answers, I have questions and all that stuff laid out because the screen is nice and big, it's convenient and the battery lasts forever. So I don't really have to charge it any time, uh, all the time. So it gets the job done brilliantly. And on top of that, if, you know, it basically does everything a smartphone can. And that's, you know. so the reason why I use it is obviously all that. And on top of the fact, on, on top of that, it's a dedicated device. And the most important part for me, personally is that it's a dedicated device that doesn't have any distractions on it so when I plug it in and I keep my phone away I don't get distracted all I can do on here is change music and change apps to look at different notes and different stuff so that's brilliant if I need to google something I wouldn't google and, and I'm you know binging reddit or binging Instagram because it's separate it's far from here and it's not going to be a problem so yeah that's it for this video I've it's 11 50 right now I should sleep soon because it's Sunday and there's school tomorrow but you know, I thought I had to share this video because it's got me so efficient. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed it, subscribe, like, all that stuff, comment. I'll be uploading again next week or next next week, but I should be uploading more than once every six months at this point because I think with the improved efficiency that came from this tablet, I should be able to make more and more videos. The next video will be about a monitor and I think it probably will do pretty well. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all for watching. I'm back. I'm glad to be and uh, goodbye.